everybody this is my first time chatting to you in this video i'm sorry if like there's shadows lily is where i normally sit <laughs> So I'm a little bit forward, but this is the first time I'm chatting with you today. I had way busier of a day than I thought. I showed you me getting some tea and working this morning. It is Sunday. I wanted to put a couple hours of work in and then I had to do so much because I leave for Europe on Wednesday and I wanted to do a little bit of a just reading vlog of books that I'm really excited for. So I had started Wild Eyes by Elsie Silver. So I started this on my run this morning and I already am so so obsessed so this is a single dad the entire series is single dad romances but I was a little wary because I don't love musician romances and she's a country star but it's very small town so she shows up to Rose Hill Records which is the record studio from book one that the hero from book one owns and he is married to the sister of the hero of this book and so he is very close by and he has a ranch I believe he has horses so he is a single dad and his wife his ex is still in the picture she is remarried and so his kids are great and i love their personalities already elsie silver writes the best kids and they're so so adorable and so oliver and i don't remember the daughter's name but the son he's eight and he doesn't like to talk to a lot of people but he immediately introduces himself to her and really likes her and she has to stay at like one of his extra houses because like it's kind of like an outdoor house kind of thing because they are going to renovate cottages for the record studio for people to come and stay and record but they're not done yet and she just like kind of showed up because she really wanted to she obviously has had a very bad past like a family that really took advantage of her and didn't treat her well so she's just she needs time and that is what she's getting and she is it's forced proximity she's staying on the hero's property and they just had a family dinner together and it is adorable i am so excited to read more i'm flying through i'm already 20 percent in so i'm very excited to read more of that and i just started body in the bookstore and i'm already four hours in i was listening to some of it while i was finishing up videos because i had a lot of editing and filming to do today for when i'm gone and this is a cozy mystery i filmed two fall videos today i'm in such the fall mood so i was like let's a cozy mystery so this is ellie alexander's newest she actually had two releases on the same day and then she has a new one coming out in the series later this month so this one the heroine works at a crime bookstore and they just have not had a lot of sales and a lot of people coming to events and so she's like what if we put on this festival which is funny because ellie alexander has her own cozy mystery festival in the town she lives in in oregon so i thought that was a really funny kind of not coincidence but like she does the same thing and so the heroine puts on this whole crime festival and the problem though is that she had a best friend in college was murdered and she actually studied like criminology in college and then decided to pursue not criminology because of her friend's murder but now all these people from her college are showing up so there's like three people in town from her college at this festival and one of them shows up dead in the little closet room behind the bookshelf like you pull a book out it swings open there's a dead body in there I'm surprised the dead body did not show up until two hours into the audiobook so like a quarter of the way through the book was when we finally got the dead body but she's kind of running around trying to figure out who did it so definitely very atmospheric very cozy i'm really enjoying it i feel like this is much more like straightforward than the Mitra baker book that i read by her it's just very simple of a book compared to that one i feel like there was a lot more going on in that one a lot more like different plot lines and this one she's just like kind of going to suspect to suspect so we'll see i only have three hours left so i'm pretty sure i can finish this tomorrow and then i don't know if i want to jump into the next one because they're all on hoopla so very excited about that but i have these two to read it is 8 30 right now so i'm going to wash my face get into bed and read for the rest of the night because the next two and a half days are going to be absolute chaos before i leave for 10 days so i'm kind i'm like very excited but i'm kind of sad that i'm going to be gone for so long so i'm definitely a homebody i love traveling but by the end of traveling i'm like i miss my home i miss my puppies i miss my bed so my dogs will be at my parents house for the entire time miss darcy's on this side of the camera too they are just and I will miss them, but I want to get all the reading in. So I'm going to read these two and then maybe sneak in the new Jennifer Chipman. I have an arc of that. So we'll see if I can read these. And yeah, that's my update for you guys. I am going to get into bed and read and try to get over 50% in. My goal is to read more than 30%, but we will see. Hello, everybody. I don't know what possessed me to do a reading vlog days before I leave and go out of the country. 
for a uh, hi Lily <laughs> for a trip that is long I'm gonna be gone for like 10 days and that means work is insane like today was labor day i still worked and i actually finished my audiobook which i'll talk about lily gets in very loving moods and has to like <laughs> has to give me so much of her love and i am very sad to be leaving both my babies darcy's right next to me too um but i wanted to do this vlog to like encourage me to still read even though i know like my next few days are gonna be crazy especially getting work done but i really want to read and finish this book and then finish jennifer chipman's book and i did finish the body in the bookstore i'm so sorry if you can hear lily licking she just she loves <laughs> she loves me there's something about how my skin tastes to her that she loves um after a workout forget about it she wants to devour me it is i know it's gross but you know i <laughs> i love my puppy okay can we hold can we wait I am going to show you. I did put new stickers on my Kindle, but they're all falling now, which isn't usually a big problem, but I did layer them, so I'm going to tape them down onto my Kindle. Um, I had a really cute tea and cozy mystery sticker I got at Steamy Lit Signing, and then my sister got a few um, Gilmore Girl stickers, and I had a couple Taylor Swift ones, and I want to put these on with some tape because it's fall and we're traveling and i want to make sure my kindle's ready for my traveling and i love it i did start a rewatch of girl more girls i'm actually on season two now i watched when i was growing up with my sister like she loved that show would get every season on dvd i loved smallville like those were our two shows so i had every sh season of smallville on dvd and so i've seen pretty much every episode of Gilmore girls but i've never watched it like completely all the way through so i'm loving it so far and i wanted to put some on my kindle and i finished the body in the bookstore while i was working today and i'm giving that one 3.5 slash 4 so i definitely liked meet your baker better and i feel like this one was so heavily focused on the mystery that i kind of missed the mark on creating like this atmospheric cozy vibe that meet your baker did because she is just working at this crime bookstore and there's a body that's found and there's all these people from her past popping up that went to school with her and there is still this mystery about her best friend that was murdered in college and like her old professor shows up as the investigator but I would have loved a little bit more of like knowing the town and like going around the town it was just very much from her point a to point b from person to person trying to figure out this mystery and I just missed that whole cozy atmosphere that her other series had done so it's still a really interesting mystery I was intrigued I wasn't trying to guess who did it so I was just kind of like going along with the story so I was surprised by who did it but it's definitely probably a 3.5 and I'll up to four on good reasons it still was a fun cozy mystery and it went by so fast and i'm excited for book two it is the body i think it's something about a movie theater and then book three comes out i think this month so i'm excited to have another ellie alexander under my belt this one was really short it was only seven hours on audio and the next one's only seven hours so i really technically could read the next one over the next couple days too if I really tried while I was working but we will see I just had some stuff I could do while listening to my audiobook um because I was doing a lot a lot of stuff today I have to plan ahead two weeks of planning like social media content for my clients and it's just a lot because I usually do it like every few days in batches and instead I have to do it in two days batch content for two weeks for them so it's a lot so I got a lot done today I have a lot to do tomorrow but I did end up getting 50% into wild eyes I'm loving this book it is just so good and I love West is such a fun character because he is used to being kind of like the life of the party and he needs that like constant I need to be around people I want to do things I want to have fun and so that's why his job he trains horses but he really like tames horses and so that really keeps him on his toes really likes that but it is hard for him because his kids his kids will switch from his house to his ex's house and it's really sad when like they're not around because he's really just like I don't even know like what to do with myself like it's so quiet and he's like do people really like want me in their lives and it's just so sad but he's such a fun lovable character too and i really love his character his banter with the heroine is top notch i'm obsessed i actually did once i got done with work today i made a little graphic to post tomorrow which i'll show here i've been loving making graphics it's one of my favorite parts of my job that i get to do for some of my clients is make fun graphics like this and so it's just like so creative and i love picking out quotes that i read to be able to put into the book so i made this one and just to be like a warning you 
I do use licensed photos that I have a subscription to and you really should if you're posting anything to the internet especially if you're doing it in a professional capacity so if you are posting something like for authors not necessarily like for yourself like a lot of people create this kind of content and put it on their own profile which is what I'm going to do and typically that's fine but I do use a subscription to Envato I grab my photos from there so they are licensed i do have permission to be posting those photos in my graphics but i made this i love how it turned out and tonight i'm going to try to finish i do have sprints at 8 it is currently 7 10 i have to do a little bit of social media stuff for work and then i can jump into my book i did wear my rose hill record sweatshirt today but novel grounds has a drop this week for wild eye stuff that i am so going to buy i'm very excited i'll do that and i'll buy finally my sparrow fall sweatshirt for katherine cowles because i never got around to buying that from novel grounds so yes that is my plan for today and then i have to finish this vlog tomorrow because i leave on wednesday <laughs> so it is going to be a go 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 crazy hectic next few days I haven't gotten my suitcase out yet, but I did pick out all my outfits this weekend. So like, I feel pretty chill about packing because I know exactly what I'm gonna pack. Um, I just have drowning in work. <laughs> so I'm gonna work tomorrow, probably start that Body in the Bookstore book two. Maybe, we'll see. I did get a couple of other books that I'm interested in reading. So I'm not sure yet what I wanna read, but I'm gonna go do some social media stuff and then have sprints tonight with my patrons and hopefully finish Wild Eyes tonight. That's the goal. getting a ton a ton of work done right now i've already worked nine and a half hours today and i'm gonna do it like an hour more but i need to pack i need to update this video so i finished wild eyes and one of my new favorite lc silver books i feel like if kate and theo were smashed into a character it would be west like kate the single dad aspect theo the just like very charming personable flirty like them together makes west and i cried at the end of this book like tears were in my eyes like i was tearing up a little bit throughout it and i feel like the skylar's such a relatable character to me and so is so is west because they both deal with a lot and elsie said she put a lot of her like personal doubts and emotions into the book and i've talked with some friends before about kind of feeling like being lost in the sea of like so many people and just feeling irrelevant and like no one really cares no matter how hard you work and that was one of the things skylar was scared of she's like what am i like what is my purpose like am i just like nobody's gonna care about me if she doesn't keep on trying to be better and better and better and i definitely relate to that i've been on social media for like 10 years at this point and doing content creation and even more so now just how many people are part of the online book community it's just so easy to feel like does anybody even really care like does why am i trying and feeling like that inadequacy i guess and like kind of imposter syndrome and so i really connected with skylar's character in that sense and i really loved it i loved how close she was with oliver and emmy it was i think it's oliver and emmy his kids adorable oliver one of my favorite kids i've read about he was adorable i loved the daughter too they were so cute so fun so like comedic relief and kind of like a serious background too and what happens to skylar at the end is so heartbreaking but she's on her journey to like really figure out how to live life for herself because she's been this country music star and never really having control and never really even having parents that care about her beyond just what money she can make so so cute i just want to go and move to a ranch in canada and live there because i love the setting so much so absolute five star read obsessed like so obsessed one of my new favorite elsie books i don't even i might like it more than wild love i can't even i don't even know like this series is five stars so far five out of five but i did start jennifer chipman's book i'm 20 percent into this and totally different vibes but like 
really fun. So he is the demon king and his brother failed to get him his wife because he went in the first book and fell in love with her sister instead. And so he is visiting the human realm to go like retrieve her and ends up kind of like falling for her. So they have met and like kind of gone on a date and then he won't tell anything about himself and he's supposed to take her back, but he hasn't done that yet and keeps on like evading her questions. Like, so what do you do for work? Like, do you have any siblings? What's your family like? So it's really fun so far. And then he goes to go back to like the demon realm with his horrible father. I'm excited to see where it goes. It's definitely more like fun and not, not as serious, but I really love Jennifer Chipman's world she's created. And I think it's like perfect for fall. And then I also did start another fall book, which is the, the society of irregular witches, the secret society. Super interesting so far. Definitely. I'm listening to an audio and it really reminds me of the house in this really in C actually, because she is does like magic online but pretends it's fake but it's real and someone notices and they're like we need you to come take care of these three witches and she's like witches aren't allowed to be together she's like that's like a recipe for disaster like you shouldn't have three witches in the same house together but these people know nothing about magic and so she finally does admit she's like well yeah i like magic is real but then i think she's going to take care of these kids and like try to teach them how to use their magic and so it kind of just feels very like found family and adorable and like cutesy cozy so i'm having fun with this audio i need to pack though so it's already 6 30 i think i'm gonna update you guys one more time and then edit this all tomorrow morning to go up probably this weekend so i'm gonna pack my carry-on suitcase for 10 days going through europe lots of dresses are gonna be worn and i'm very excited i leave tomorrow afternoon and it's gonna be fun but i yeah I've got to go pack. So I don't think I'll listen to my audio while I pack, but I'm definitely going to read more of the gender tripping book tonight and then tomorrow when I run. So hopefully I can get up to like 50% and update you guys before I have to end this vlog. But so far, so good. Stressing just a little. I'm like weirdly not super stressed, but I know I cannot have an Alani before going to the airport because I did that once and my anxiety went from like three to like six and that was not good <laughs> out of 10. I don't, I just get like a little flying anxiety. I'm not like an anxious, anxious person in general, but I was feeling it that flight. I was like, don't drink, don't drink energy drinks before you gotta go on a flight. More so that something's gonna go wrong. Not that I'm scared of like flying. I'm just like worried about delays and lost luggage and like worst case scenario things when traveling. So tomorrow's gonna be a very long day. We land Thursday morning in Edinburgh, so it should be fun, but yeah, that's my update. I'm gonna go pack and watch Below Deck. My sister might watch a Lizzie McGuire movie while we pack because we are going to Rome. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's my update. morning everybody i have my adorable Minnie mouse holiday halloween mug that i got at home goods i believe i've been like going to all of the home stores looking at their mugs so it is currently wednesday morning i got up super early this morning so that i had enough time to like finish packing my stuff and getting ready to work for probably like four hours this morning and then edit this video and then upload it and then go to my parents house drop my dogs off my mom's taking us to the airport and we're off to scotland which is so exciting but i do want to close out this vlog email is already going crazy anyways um i am here to close out this vlog because i want to update you guys on not spookily yours wickedly yours wickedly yours is definitely more like paranormal versus a fall book like it's still fall but spookily yours had like a lot of the fall themes and it took place in fall and this one is more so following her learning this guy that she likes as a demon prince and being taken back and having to marry him so it's very very paranormal compared to the other one and most of it's going to be taking place like in the demon world so like she meets all these demons and i think she's gonna like learn how to use her powers and he's like well i can just like teach you all these things so it's really cute so far because i definitely already like hooked up before when she was like crushing on him thinking he was a human and now she's like do you like me or you just want me to marry for your kingdom so the dynamic is really fun it's sweet i'm 40 percent in and i'm really really enjoying it it's probably going to be at least a four star read so i will be continuing this and enjoying all of my fall reading i haven't listened to any more of my audio i don't know i don't know how i feel i don't know what's going to happen with that one because i'm only an hour into the audiobook it's a nine hour audiobook so it's cute so far but i don't know what the plot i don't know if there's a romance like i don't know anything about that one so we will see how it goes 
goes but that is all i have for this like quick and fun reading vlog i was gonna say fall but i did read wild eyes by elsie silver and that's not really a fall romance but the rest of them are so i am pleasantly surprised with how much i read in this vlog we had five stars we had three and a half we had two that i haven't finished yet but i have very high hopes for so i hope you enjoy this vlog if you made it this far leave me a is there a moon emoji leave me a moon for wickedly yours because her name's luna and he calls her moonbeam which i think is so cute so leave me a moon and that's all i have as always thank you so much for watching and have a good day bye